Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some arena and we are back at it again with Merfolk in Historic. Thank goodness we can play some Merfolk again in Historic uh, because we have one card. One card that allows us to play this deck even more efficiently and better than ever. Historic is a format on arena that brings back all the old cards from all the old sets that are currently on arena with, in addition to, uh, some old old cards not not even in the sets from arena but just old classic cards from certain sets in certain different games uh and certain decks that uh, people have played with in the past uh popular ones uh so we were gifted one of those historic cards on arena marrow regery which is right here marrow regery one of our lords other merfolk creatures you control get plus one plus one whenever you cast a merfolk spell you may tap or untap a target permanent Super good card in Merfolk. It's been uh, played in Modern for a super long time. It gets cut every once in a while, but then it works its way back in. Uh, it's currently seeing play right now in Modern, uh, and it's just such a strong card. And now that we have another Lord, uh, we can start tapping and untapping some things and really go, uh, go off with this card. So it's a lot of fun. So this is the historic Merfolk list I have. Uh, this is basically what Nikachu's running right now, too. Uh, three spell pierces, four bends... Uh, four Kometa Speakers, four Silver Gills, four Brimeborn Cutthroats allows us to play on the opponent's turn a little bit more, along with Merfolk Trickster. Uh, Merfolk Trickster, along with four Marrow Regeries, is a super strong combo. Uh, you can double tap things down at the end of their turn or whenever you need to. Uh, of course, we've got our four Mistbinders, our other Lord in the deck, and Brazen Borrower, a huge staple of Merfolk now uh, in Modern as well, and it still is an arena. Uh, super good car, bounce something. Uh, Flash Flyer, 3-1, very good card, strong play, and we've got Repudiate, which we're going to be mainly using for Replicate, which is create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. This is to, a way for us to get more lords on the battlefield, more regeries, more misbinders. Uh, we can also copy like a Silver Guild to draw more cards. We can do Repudiate as well, which is counter target activated or triggered ability. So if there's a ability that's getting triggered out on the battlefield that uh, is going to impact the game, we can counter it with that as well. Uh, we are playing with 23 lands, uh, so 8 islands, 3 forests, we don't need a ton of forests in this in this deck, and we've got plenty with Breeding Pool, Hinterland Harbor, and the Unclaimed Territories for Kessen Armor Folk spells, so that is the deck list, it is uh, pretty fun, it's been fun to play it again, uh, I've only played a few matches here and there in Arena since I just loaded it up <laughs> like yesterday and built the deck because I've been waiting to play it, so yeah, we're going to jump back in and start playing Merfolk again, so uh, let's uh, find ourselves a match. All right, so we found ourselves an opponent here. Uh, this is just going to be historic uh, rank, just best of ones. I got nothing in the sideboard right now, so we're just going to play it like this. Uh, this is an okay hand. We need to grab some lords, but we can always bend it up to adapt and uh, cycle some cards. And, of course, we've got the silver guild adapt to help us out, too. Uh, so we'll keep this. Still a good, strong turn one Kumena speaker play if we want to run it like that, which I think I will. We'll start getting a clock going like that. With 2-2 two, two out. See what happens. Against Richard Limb. Leave a like on the video if you're uh, excited to have more Merfolk coming at you again, finally. Uh, let's just go to combat. We're going to do our Silver Guild Adept. Hit for two. We'll show him uh, one of the bends. Breeding Pool. All right. Draw lots of land. Need to start finding our lords. Let's see what they're on about, though. We see we see the swamp, so we're on some removal. Wouldn't mind. Ooh. Is this some kind of control now? Interesting, interesting. Play the forest out. We'll run uh, another silver gill. Reveal Ben again. Boom. Brineborn, not bad. Toss out a Ben. Swing for four. Pass to them. Well, they got some mana. What are you going to do? Alright, so Fairy comes down. Uh, we can kill it pretty, pretty easily. They're going to bounce something, more than likely. Mena, sure. 
Not a big deal. We're going to be able to take him out. Uh, we'll just go ahead. Uh, we're going to actually... I want to adapt. Try to dig for a lord if we can. Spell pierce isn't bad. Uh, I did not want to discard that island. I meant to discard this breeding pool, I think. Uh, that's alright, though. So, one at Teferi, two at their face, uh, four at their face, I should say. And now we got to decide what we want to do here. I'm going to pay the two. Uh, I think we're just going to pass a turn with Trickster, Brineborn, Kumena, and a Spell Pierce up. We're in a decent spot right now, so there's no need to rush. We can just get good bodies on the, on the ground here. Alright, they're not playing anything, so we'll just go Brineborn. See if they want to, like, counter something. I'm going to let it resolve. I'm going to kill something in response. Sure, that's fine. Interland. Alright. I'm going to put out Ben. I want to adapt Ben now. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. Let's swing first. There's no reason to... I think I'm just going to do Kumeno, hold up Trickster, and the Spell Pierce. I mean, we've got the game pretty locked, and if anything, we can adapt at end of turn. Kaya's Wrath. Destroy all creatures. Well, we can Spell Pierce that. The thing. Yeah, we don't need to let that resolve, you know? We'll just go ahead and flash this in. We'll, we'll call it a deal. Good game. Good game. Alright, good first match. Cool. We'll uh, load up another one here see how we do. It's been a while since we've been on uh, Arena. Still running the Simic Flash uh, in Standard right now. We're going to get some upgrades in Lair of Behemoths, or... A behemoth. Uh, another decent hand. We'll keep it. It's fine. No lords again, but we got similar options. Adapt into a lord or something. Yeah, so I would like to get back to doing some Simic Flash 2 when the new set comes out. I think there's going to be some nice cards there. Okay, 2 we drew a Kumena. I like running out the Kumena fast. Get in for early damage. Simic. Alright. Interesting. Let's go to combat. See what they do. Not gonna do anything here. Okay. Take the two. Uh, we're just gonna... Pass turn with Trickster and Brineborn. Oh, their own Brineborn. Alright, alright. So we're up against Simic Flash, which is pretty funny. Should actually, like. Well, they're not going to play anything on their turn, so. Could eat this thing. Do I want to eat it? Um, hmm. We'll take the two for now. We can always bounce it if it gets crazy. We'll put our own uh, bright board down. Quench? Alright, fair enough. It's a merfolk. And they are tapped out. Let's definitely put down another Kumena. Tapped out for the turn. I could just get down a bunch of bodies. He's not going to get too crazy too fast. Yeah, we're going to play around more uh, counter spells and just put out a, a nice army at least.
So historic Simic Flash, huh? I wonder what they're playing with in the historic realm. Passing back to me, as they do. All right. So how do I want to do this here? Swing in, eat one of my creatures. I want to keep the pressure on. They do have mana up for their wolf, which wouldn't be pretty. We're still going to swing in. I don't mind if we trade a Brineborn. And we've got ways to deal with uh, what they put down. Are you just going to take it all? Alright. Sure. I mean, this deck can run pretty uh, low on life and then still make a comeback. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've done it many of times um, where I'll just keep taping, taking damage until I'm completely set up and then uh, and then just make the comeback. All right, so Brineborn gets a little bigger. They're going to draw a couple cards. We will attempt to put down a Brineborn. They allow it. All right. So now they can definitely just eat a creature straight up. I think I'm all right with that. I just want to keep the pressure on. Going to damage here. What are you going to flash in? There's a night pack ambusher. All right, cool. So now, they're going to take 4-6, bounce the Brineborn, now that they're tapped out. They get a blocker with Night Pack. Alright, they're going to eat Park Commander. We're going to put him to four. I really wish we had one more land. So we could play a Trickster and a Bounce. I'm wondering if we should try to bounce their Night Pack Ambusher now. I might do that. Just slow them up quite a bit. Yeah, let's just slow them up. I don't want them to get another blocker. Not paying life for the breeding pool. I'm fine with it. Back to us. There's the unclaimed. A little late. Ah, uh, so now what do I want? I think we're going to adapt. Probably. All right, we're just going to dump the unclaimed. I got night pack. But we can tap down Night Pack. Go on the attack. Sure. 
sure. That'll resolve. Tap this down. And do they have anything else? They got one more blocker. They could have the pirate. You got one man up. You got your one drop. You got an unsummon. No, he's giving me the good game. Good game. That was a good game. Very well. Wow, two games and uh, we haven't drawn any of our lords, which is pretty crazy. But uh, look at how strong the deck is, even without the lords, you know. Early starts with the Kimenas. Alright, let's rock it back. I'm going to do another one here. We'll do one more. See how it goes. Alright, we finally see some lords. I will take it. We've got three lands. Uh, ben, turn one, turn two, turn three. And followed up with the Mistbinder. I like it. We'll keep. Now, Redry's gonna be very nice. Go, Ben, go. Healer Hawk. Cool. Now, what I'd like to see. Do it. He's not going to do it. Uh, then we are going to... Could play Mistbinder, actually. Mistbinder into Redry. That's a lot of power. Could have gotten in for one more damage, but I kind of wanted to just see if they would chump block. Mm -mm -mm. Brineborn actually will come in handy later uh, to play on their turn and tap something down to sweep in for the win. So yeah, I think we'll just play Lord, play Regery, then we'll start holding up the Brineborn or whatever else we, uh, we do here. Alright, cool. So we got a Pride Mate, which we'll be able to attack into a little bit. Um, <laughs> not quite, though. Well, we'll definitely play the Regery. And let's see. We'll just attack with Ben. If they want to trade with Ben, cool. So we're going to start going off next turn. Tapping a bunch of things down. Ooh, that's nice. It's very nice for them. Alright, so they're at 19. So, we can Kumena. Tap this down. Could offer a trade with the uh, Marshal. Hmm. Debating if I want to just get in for a lot of damage here. Let's see. Get in for 9 damage. Put them to 10. It's tempting. It's tempting. Sure. I don't know. Maybe this is a mistake. I want to get in for some damage. Get him to 10. We'll hold up Spell Pierce. Protect our board. We may take a big hit from the Pride Mate. We're taking... Take a little bit. Another Pride Mate's good. Another Healer Hawk's good. going to gain two. Pump, pump. Trickster's very nice here. Alright, so we are going to adapt first. Yeah, let's, let's adapt. See what we can find. We can really combo off here. If we find the right card, which we don't. So we can tap two things, swing in for a lot, 
Tap these two. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we'll use this trigger for this. We could actually turn off Benalia Marshall, make everything weaker. I actually like doing that better. We'll trade a Lord with a Pride Mate. Sure. Do we just win from here? Block two. Block. Block. Taking 11. Ooh. Oh, just shy. Just shy. Decisions, decisions. Okay. Interesting. He's going to take 10 this way, so he's choosing to just stave off a little bit more damage. Alright. Fair enough. I would have jump locked the Lord. Got rid of a Lord. If you're going to lose a creature, you might as well get rid of a Lord. Sure. That's a big team. That just kill us? That just kills us. Oh my. Let's see. Well, it doesn't just kill us. We can block. Yeah, he knows it too. <laughs> he's like, hold up, he's got a blocker. <laughs> I forgot I had it too for a second. I was like, oh man, we're just empty, huh? That was really, uh, that was really dangerous though. Living on the edge. Yeah, you can't do it now, can you? And all I need is one creature and I can tap like a bunch of stuff and do what I need to do. Alright, just gonna gain some life. Sure. Well, I got a Ben. That I'm gonna adapt with. We're gonna tap you down. And yeah, there you go. <laughs> the Regery taps. See us through. Finally a game with some lords. So, that is um, Historic Merfolk. It is a lot of fun. I'll, uh, I'll bring the deck list back up for you guys again. Uh, but yeah, tons of fun. Uh... Like I said, I might uh, skip out on, like, Infect and Mill this week and just do some classic Merfolk. So if you uh, would enjoy that, leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more. And we will see you guys in the next video.